Okay, Glenn Demon here working on the bus again today and what else would I be doing but working on the bus because working on the bus is great and I enjoy it and it's just a lot of fun. So today's kind of a dreary day outside, kind of rainy. And, uh, but I just got back from Eugene, Oregon. I visited uh, AM Solar, uh, which is uh, a dealer of uh, solar systems and solar panels and, and equipment and stuff. And I decided to go with them to uh, power up my bus with their products. And they don't sponsor me or anything like that, so just so you know. But uh, they're great guys to work with down there. And so what I've got here is all the stuff uh, that I just picked up. I went ahead and picked it up in person. I had to go down there anyway <clears throat> and uh, take a friend of mine, or a, a friend of mine had a motor home he had to take down there and drop off. And so I went ahead and, and followed behind him. And then after we dropped off his motor home, he went over to AM Solar. Of course, I had it all set up ahead of time. Uh, so they put together my complete package deal uh, for the bus, including a design of the system and how the solar panels on the roof will tie together and how the equipment will tie together down inside the bay and so i'm just going to show you a little bit about uh, today about what i've uh, decided to go with so just to start i got the victron energy multi plus two it's the uh, 24 volt 3000 watt or, or yeah 3000 watt 70 amp uh inverter and so this had to be uh set up for what i'm doing which they did before i picked it up so this is the inverter which what i'm gonna do here i'm just gonna take this stuff out just kind of look at it for now and uh and i'll be installing it sometime later obviously so this is the inverter here so the multi plus two uh, this panel here down at the bottom comes off and that's where all the connections go in and you can see how all this stuff works on uh, numerous uh, YouTube channels on the web and I'm not going to go into all that but for me I think it's gonna work great and I'm pretty excited about it so that's the inverter that I decided to go with Then I've got two uh, solar charge controllers. The Victron solar charge controllers, the MPPT uh, 150 85, I believe it's 150. Uh, I'm not sure, I don't remember what the numbers actually mean. I believe me, I did actually research this stuff. And uh, so I, the reason I have two is because my panels on the roof are going to be divided up in basically into two systems. So I have a set of panels for one system, set of panels for the other system, and then this will all eventually tie together into the, uh, the multi-plus. Then I have the uh, BMV 712 Smart Battery Monitor. This I'm going to mount. Uh, down inside the bay and that way I'll have controls while I'm down inside the bay and then this will also transmit I believe to my cell phone uh, if I so choose and I also uh, picked up the um, oh the Cer Servo GX that has its own little tablet that will mount up above uh, inside the bus uh, that I'll be able to, to monitor up above the bus as well so then I got the, uh, the DC to DC converter. So the reason I had to have this, cause I'm going from 24 volt down to 12 volt. So this is the Orion 2412, 70 amp 
a converter so that way I can so I'll convert from 24 volt down to 12 volt and one of the reasons I went down to or went from with 24 volt is because then I can run smaller wire it runs cooler things like that uh, from the solar panels down through and it just seems to be a better system so uh, for me anyway so that's those one thing I have to do is I have to go over all this stuff anyway make sure I've got everything this I believe is a smaller a breaker panel uh, for the system here it's got some breakers in here uh, that'll snap into that um, anyway everybody knows what breakers look like so that's that part of it uh, got all the heat shrink for the big 4 out wires uh, 2 out wires even smaller yet uh, smaller connectors uh, with the heat shrink ends uh, crimp connectors and uh, pigtails and things like that so that's part of the kit matter of fact bring this box up so breakers uh, die core lap sealant so it looks like I have a couple of these kits here with these uh, heat shrinks and the connectors I, I believe these are for connecting the solar panels to their wire uh, that gets you into the uh, into the combiner box on the roof so there's a bunch more of those heat shrink tubes here as you can see this is going to be a lot of work <laughs> so some of this stuff I don't know what it is yet it says mixed parts so I'll probably just break that open see what that looks like oh I see okay so this is this is the uh, the lug ends <clears throat> for the big four out wire and the heat shrink this is some connector stuff some more lug ends um, anyway there's just one outlet for down in the bay that they provide with it uh, here's some other breakers for the 110 volt uh, system and this has just a bunch more lug ends in it more breakers a, a Romex type connector uh, things like that so that's in that box and there's another box here it says a Oh, I think this is the charger from the alternator. Uh, ALT CL1230. Maybe. I don't know. I'm not sure what that is. Oh, well, never mind. It's, I mean, it did seem like kind of a small box. But anyway, but it's just got some more connectors here. Some more uh, heat shrink uh, for the big 4-out wires. Here's some connectors for like 2-out wires. A bunch of those. Uh, other miscellaneous parts um, this here is uh, something to do with Victron energy unless it's just a box used for other stuff I don't know okay so it's got some kind of a funky device here that I'm sure I'll figure out what it is as I go along now a lot of the stuff I don't even know what it is yet but they also provided a design uh, with all this stuff with schematics and everything so I'll, so I'll know what it all does where it all goes uh, here's some more uh, breakers I think these are probably for t a smaller uh, a 12 volt or 24 volt stuff or whatever and then this is the big coil of wire here which looks like about a 6 gauge this box I already opened earlier so this has my my servo uh, GX for I can monitor my tanks and it'll monitor my um, my battery system and my whole power system so that's the kit to hook all that up so this is going to be my my uh, touch screen uh, that'll monitor my entire system and that'll mount up above the floor uh, somewhere in the bus which I'll have a lot of reading to do on this stuff to figure out what all this stuff does 
where it goes, how it works, and all that good stuff. This is a big giant connector of some sort here. Um, I think this is a fuse uh, inside here. And your big shutoff switches, uh, battery switches. I've got two of those in here, maybe more. Oh yeah, I guess I've got another switch here. I've got these devices here, which I think will be the ones that'll that'll uh, connect to my uh, panels before they go into anything. I'm not, I don't even know for sure about that, but anyway, it's two pretty substantial looking switches there, and some more stuff here. I'm gonna have to learn what all this stuff is. I do have a uh, a packing list that has. Um, a list of all these things or several pages and so I'll have to check all this stuff out against the packing list to make sure that I've got everything so, <clears throat> so I've got some more wire here from Victron, Victron Energy uh, other connectors um, also from Victron uh, other various wires gray wire, black wire, orange wire, and I've got this big giant, looks like a, looks like probably a 2 watt wire I'm guessing here, maybe, no, it might be a little smaller than 2 watt. but anyway, there's quite a bit of that, there's a huge roll in this box, and um, so that's pretty much that stuff, it's going to take me couple of weeks just to figure out what this stuff actually is so this these are and I've already opened this up so these are the solar combiner boxes that AM solar had custom built just for their systems of course this would be sealed down to the roof with die core and basically the the solar panels that come in and uh, into these knockouts with the uh, waterproof connector and they have their own custom wire actually that'll go into these connectors so it'll go from the solar panels to the custom wire and then into these connectors this will mount to the roof and the, the main wires will go from the roof down through this hole through the roof of the bus and then down into the storage bay uh, down below so i have two of those again because i have uh, two uh, basically two solar uh, systems that are split so that's those two combiner boxes and then again some more wire here uh, I'm not sure what that is but it's 20 feet long whatever it is and then a bunch more wire this looks like 2 out here yeah 2 out says on it so I've got 35 feet of that and I've got another chunk of 4 op wire uh, down inside the box and uh, so basically that's that part of the kit so this should be uh, enough stuff to put in an entire uh, inverter and solar system for the bus And then for now, I've got four 100 amp hour uh, Life Po, or excuse me, a uh, Life Blue um, solar or uh, uh, lithium lithium iron batteries, and uh, so these are pretty nice batteries. I mean they're. They're the ones that AM Solar sells. Out of the way. So it's the light blue panels or uh, batteries, and these uh, she showed me uh, before I left their office. Uh, how you can take this here and you can just hook it up to your phone or just put the numbers of the battery inside your uh, phone 
uh, with an app, I suppose, and you can tell exactly what the charge state is of each individual battery. And that's probably pretty standard uh, with these kinds of things. It's pretty fantastic to me. So it Bluetooths into your phone and you can monitor each battery. And then you can also monitor your system uh, for, the, uh, for the individual, uh, or for the batteries after they're all combined together. So, so basically what I'll have is I'll have the two light blues uh, wired in series, two more light blues wired in series. I've got four of them for now. That's 400 amp hours. I eventually, I'll eventually have eight. So I just decided to get four for now. And, uh, but I will have eight eventually. And one thing about when you go with a 24 volt system, you can't just add one battery at a time. You have to add at least two batteries at a time because you have to have two in series and then those will go in parallel with the other sets. So, um, so they're pretty nice batteries and I think this is gonna be a, a pretty sweet system. So once I get to actually wiring all this stuff in, of course I'll create some more video on that and that will uh, take me quite a bit of time there's going to be a learning curve here. Um, I also bought a used uh, a uh, a used um, a crimper for the uh, big giant four aught and two aught wires and stuff like that. And I paid thirty bucks for it. It's an old one, but it, I took it down there with me and they checked it out. And I said, "Yeah, that'll be just fine." And so I'll have a good quality crimp on all of the uh, lug ends. So anyway, so that's pretty much it for today. I just got back literally today and uh, I'm pretty excited about it. And so installing all this stuff is gonna be a lot of fun and I'll get their uh, design uh, rolling and we'll see how all that goes. Appreciate everybody watching. God bless, take care of yourselves.